Hello and welcome to another modern stream. Today we're going to be playing some elementals. This is a similar list to the one that I played in the showcase. Uh, I explained my reasoning in that video, but in case you haven't watched it, um, I was always kind of not really impressed by Utopia's Pro. I always thought it was kind of weird. And right now it's kind of like worse than ever because you're in a situation where like everybody's just jamming spreading seas main deck like you're, they're playing like four copies the blue white control decks um and like it's it's definitely powerful when it's in, in your opening hand like it actually is is, is quite powerful whenever you get to turn one spread uh, turn one utopia pro but um if it's not in, a, in your opening hand like you just are in a spot where like you have literal dead draws like they are just so so much worse than just having a land uh, so, what I did is, instead of doing that, I added uh, 24th land to what was back then the stock list. Uh, some some lists right now are actually running 24 lands and the 4 Utopia Sprawls, so that's that's just another idea. But I wanted to kind of like cut the fat, and instead of playing uh, the Utopia Sprawls, I am playing a couple of copies of Flame King, Har Flame King Harbinger, sorry, uh, which, is, uh, which is a card that I... I've actually liked a fair amount. Like a lot of people are super down on this card and they want to cut it, but I'm 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 just okay with it. Like I actually kind of like it, uh, and it's sometimes very very cool to just be able to you know set up an Omnath or get your get your engine rolling. And even sometimes you just need to like deal with a Murktide Regent or something like that. Sure, like it's it's a it's a vampiric tutor, right? So it's going you're gonna get the card on the following turn but like if you have a recent reef already in play then it's it's just a, an absolute banger like whenever you have a recent reef in play this is literally the worst draw in your the, the best draw in your deck so um it's like it, it it's it has some some like some definite ups and downs but like it's nice that you can play it on turn one and it just trades with a rag of them very nicely and because again because I'm, I'm cutting on one mana cards i was also adding the fourth copy of prismatic ending this is a card that i was always very impressed by particularly in these decks uh, because uh, these decks are super soft to the card torpor orb so having access to to a main deck answer to torpor orbs if your opponent gets it off a, off a card or something like that gives you it gives you outs and it's just like randomly very good like you, you can deal with opposing the fairy time rabblers you can deal with opposing opposing rain and sixes which is a big deal when you have a bunch of x1 in your deck so i just really like prismatic ending so it's 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 a card that i've been really happy with and i'm surprised that most people don't play the full four copies uh, the last addition is the main deck copy of endurance we can use this endurance uh in you know not only in the decks like you know dredge or like whatever like the decks where it's obviously good but it's also pretty strong against all of the drc decks as well so Having access to a main deck copy can give you a lot of game in a bunch of situations where you otherwise may not be too happy about. So uh, I, I like the endurance a fair amount. Um, the rest of the deck is just uh, the only change that I made from my uh, showcase list to the mana base is I cut the second Temple Garden and I added uh, the first copy of Rogan Triumph right now. Um, I, I'm not super excited about ETV tap lands, but we're gonna see how this plays out. Uh, we'll, it, they're just like such terrible top decks usually because like you have cards that you want to be playing up the curb all the way up to five. So having an ETV tap land can be sort of a disaster sometimes. But maybe I don't know. I'm just gonna be trying it out. Uh, there's also a possibility, and another thing that I may want to try is just to go up to 25 lands because I'm not playing Utopia Sprawls and kind of like see how that feels but we're gonna go with 24 24 for now the sideboard includes blossoming calm which is a card that i just i don't know i've seen people play it and i kind of want to try it out to see if it's actually good against burn but like it feels kind of medium it actually feels super medium uh we're also playing uh, fluster storm and force of negation uh, a little split i'm trying out fluster because i saw andrea piegonti trying fluster storm and I'm just like eh, i'll just give it a shot like i'm not, I'm not particularly excited about the card uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of fluster storm uh but just just to try it out see what's up uh two copies of alpine moon there's been like a very serious downtick in tron lately it's kind of just disappeared uh so uh i'm only playing two copies of alpine moon and we usually have a reasonable matchup against saga decks anyway uh three copies of rest in peace this card is just the nuts right now it just deals with so many decks the saga decks it deals with like the uh, the merc type decks uh, it, it's just overall a very good card 
Uh, and another copy of Endurance, I already talked about how I like this card, so just another copy. Uh, Force of Vigor against a Hammer and stuff like that, um, Blood Moons 2. Engineered Explosives as uh, sort of a catch-all and also a potential card against Hammer and Mold Drifter in, against the grindy matchups where I want the fourth copy of uh, the Drifter. The Drifter. Um, we're going to be playing this deck through a league. We're going to see how things go. If you're enjoying the content, of course, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you for round number one. Okay, welcome to round number one of this league with elementals. I think I'm keeping this hand. It's a little bit on the slow side, but that's fine. Playing against Ketria Trium. Rhinos, I assume? Or maybe not. No companion has revealed. You didn't know why that was me. <laughs> Red and six. Okay. Well, that's that's dead. Damn resist with a tier one sub coming back for thirty two months. Three two. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Dan. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure to have you here. The only issue with this hand is like, we're gonna be able to mold Drifter Ephemerate, but like we're just gonna have to go to this card. Use your own music in your Twitch to use it in your other endeavors, like your music lessons, your paper tournaments, your fans only. Uh, no, not really. Mm. So it is indeed scape shift. Kind of have to kill that, don't I? Kinda have to kill that. Uh, well, I mean that kills that. It's costly, but it does the job. The only brutal thing now is if they go BTL and they go get Valky, then we're actually in a lot of trouble. Well. Powerful interaction. That is a powerful interaction. Down to five. Down to five we go. I'm gonna get a steam vents. Oh I can't think you will follow. Huh, that's funny that the little little triangle is showing up down there. Can you please just flood opponent? Do you have a stream of canister? Can it be? Yes, I always say do you have a stream of canister. Ando bastante por por el universo del del Twitch. All right. It seems like it's probably not a good matchup for us either. I honestly have not played it yet. Oh. That's, that's pretty strong. 
That is quite strong. We're dead to skip shift, nothing to do there, so we're just gonna play as if my opponent doesn't have it. Have it. Bueno, bienvenido, Jodai con So Francisco también. Well, BTL is lethal. Not not really much to do about it. BTL for four, of course. This side should be good in this matchup. Well, it is it is good, but only really if. So this is good. This is good. And I think that's it. These are bad. Endurance is bad. The fairy is fantastic. Harbinger is bad. Bolts are bad. I guess maybe they have torpor orbs, so maybe I want some number of endings. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, but um, they have the fairy, right? Well, me los FNM de Modern en Bazar. No sé si fuiste alguna vez a esa tienda. No, no, no sabía. Qué bueno. Qué buena onda. He escuchado bastante. Lo conocí a Fer una vuelta eh, por Magic Online. Y eh, Luis me la recomendó. Cuando Luis vino para acá, para Los Ángeles, y, y hangueamos, me recomendó el, el bazar. Pasa que cuando fui a Argentina me quedaba lejos. Así que no pude ir. Alright. Probably keep this hand. Saving the fetch for Omnath. I uh, am I protecting recent reef? I don't think I'm protecting recent reef here. I think I want to get the ball rolling, and I guess I can sort of protect it with force if I need to. I'm probably not going to, but if I really have to protect it, I I technically can. But I don't think I can just like pass the turn, like putting Kahira into my hand and not doing anything, right? Try it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we do end up with recent reef. Let's see what we find. Solitude would be great. So let's go ephemerate my dude. Prismatic ending, okay. Now we play our land, prismatic ending for three and pass the turn. So I'm probably forcing it to ferry because it's it's a two for one. But if I force the fairy, like if the fairy resolves, it actually takes my ephemerate. So it is actually just fine. But yeah, put the old deck with the new deck. I mean, not really. The old, my old deck is beating me up. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was talking about. <clears throat> 
Los Boys han creado un nacional y muchas tiendas de todo el país se han involucrado en Modern, por supuesto, que grande. Qué buena onda. Saving the fetch for Omnath, but I definitely rather have the card than the. Scoot a forest, play the land. And we have Hallowed Fountain, so this is fine. Actually, yeah, never mind. I should have ephemerated there. I should have just evoke ephemerated. <clears throat> yeah, I should have definitely done that. That was bad. So now if they have another Teferi, it's kind of awkward. So I can't really pressure it. Ya tenemos que ver al físico, sí. Ese día no puede llegar. No puede llegar más rápido. Yo ya, ya he jugado un par de torneos yo acá en... Por estos lares. Dryad. Dryad is fine. Luster, all right. Interesting, they just let it go? Okay, so I'm not gonna blink the Solitude then. If they have second Dryad, I guess they can't have second Dryad, never mind. I think I'm ephemerating my Mool Drifter on end step though. Play. All right. So now we're cooking. Now we are a uh, cooking. Good. That is pretty good. So my priority number number one is to make sure my opponent can't win. So I'm not gonna prioritize not losing. I'm going to prioritize my opponent not winning. And I think that the best way to do that is doing this. So if I have the fairy and I have fluster come and hard cast force as options is better than me playing the recent reef. So I think I'm just gonna pass here. I'm just gonna swing for one. I can pitch cast force, I know, but I think it's better to leave all of my options available to myself. So, do we just do it? Yeah, let's go, right? There's no way they, they don't go face, right? There's just no way they don't go face. All of them going face. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> don't get excited, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was, that was awesome.
that's the feeling that I got from that interaction. Funny thing is we wouldn't even have died, but just solid didn't. Oh yeah, we, we had multiple things to do there. We could have just forced, we could have like done something and then fluster. Like we had infinite ways to not die there. For less you actually had the horn. Oh yeah, I got you. I got you. I got the hookup. Um, sand is really slow on the draw. <sighs> we do have force, which is very nice. That's awfully bad. That's awfully bad. If they play a rain, I don't think I can afford to counter it. Which honestly really sucks. And here comes a spell that I can cast. Hell yeah, that's a good one. Um, just gonna go with this. Say go. Dryad would be kind of a big problem. Yeah, that one. That one is kind of a big problem. That one, that one's pretty strong. We did fix my opponent's mana, but seems worth it. <laughs> above average draw, I would call it. I would call it an above average draw. Yen Drag, thank you for the follow. See what this is. Omnath. All right. That's bad. That's bad for us. We're just gonna die to random Omnath beatdowns, I think. No land is big, because they could have played one more land, right? Uh, all right. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I think if I find Solitude, I didn't. So unlucky. I was gonna say if I find if I find solitude, I'm gonna solitude. I'm gonna ephemerate the solitude instead, but this is fine. Um, I can't pitch anything to fury. How brutal is that? Whitelisted. It was pretty good. So my opponent can deal me 4, 8, 10 this turn. So I think I'm not going to draw so I get two more looks at a Solitude or, or a red card for Fury. Either one of which would work out just fine. Omnath would also be fantastic. Omnath would also be fantastic. We have force in case they have a Tibalt. All right, that's life. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Boom, draw two. 
Ding, ding, fucking ding. Oof, that's a lot. Um, we have so many things to do. All right, this is a turnaround. Uh, this is red. This is definitely a way to turn things around. Play that one. Gain some life. Fetch. Find planes. So I'm pitching Solitude. Now the question is, I think I just pitched the Blossom in Calm, right? Or do I play the Recent Reef? Because what I can do is I can play Recent Reef, try to spike another white card. Oh, I guess I could just pitch the Fairy Town Braveler. Never mind, this is just better. Another Force. Don't mind if I do. Pitch the Fairy Town Braveler. And now we have Ephemerate and we also have what's his name up? Oh, we also have Blossom Income up. Alpine Moon. Ephemerate there. Boom. <laughs> uh, so that happened. That's neat. <laughs> that was a turn. That was a turn that we got to play. We played that turn. We still have seven cards in hand. Sure. We still have seven cards in hand and we have the Ephemerate coming up off Suspend. Opponent down to three cards. They fetch for Dryad. That is fine. We just kill that with Fury. Um, put that into play. Blue, white, to fairy, minus under two, the draw another card. I guess I should have. No, I. That, this is fine. This is fine, never mind. I should have tapped differently, but it's it's whatever. Explore is fine. Cause even if they have Omnath, we could just kill it with Fury, so it's not really that big of a deal. Plus one. Two, three, four, five. One drift. I think we're looking good now. I think we're the follow-up rates. I think we're looking good now. Ran in six. Yeah, that guy resolves. SSJ Goober. Thank you for that follow. Um, sure. I think I'm just ending the Ren and six. Just so I can kill them faster. One, two, three, four, five. 
fast already. So now we have hardcast force. We still have the fairy going. Oh, I tapped wrong. Uh, it doesn't matter. They already used their verdict, so we don't need to play around anything. This is just game. Do you prefer Elementos Kahira over Yorion? Uh, I haven't really played any y Yorion lists, so... This is what I've been playing and what I've been having success with. Haven't really felt the need to play the Yorion version. Maybe it's good. Like, I, I just... I mean, any version of this deck is just going to be good, I think. I do think Kahira is very nice, though. All right, got him. See you next round. <sighs> the dreaded two lander. The dreaded two lander. Good enough in 30 minutes to then go play FNM. That's awesome. Procrastinating for doing all the work I need to. All right, glad, glad I'm helping you. I'm helping you do the important stuff, punt. Then you just get a 4 1 with birds. Nice. I'm doing great. Uh, I think I have to ship this hand, right? I mean, we could kind of play sort of a control game. Yeah, okay, whatever. If we find the, if we if we hit a missile land drop, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. But like this hand plays a very nice control game with like double solitude, double tef. I think yours is also fun. I mean, it's not a mental deck. Just play similar list, but not the same deck. I really like it. Yuri got more impact than Kahiri in elementals. Yes, yes. Uh, so I I guess that you're talking about the the canister deck, right? Ugh. So I guess we lose. They moved to four and it literally could not matter any, any less. This matchup is absolutely miserable. This matchup is absolutely miserable. Weird that like, we got paired, like we just played two leagues and we got paired against Tron twice. Like I honestly have not seen that much Tron lately. Oh, you're feeling cool about your cool deck? Let's just cut that out, yeah. Wow, just the natty Tron. Well, that's bad for me. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, we were... That was... Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that game. Uh, Alpine Moons, uh, Force of Negation, Force of Vigor. Shave a couple of Solitudes, shave some Flamekins, and cut it to Fairy. You were gonna say maybe they have nothing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the Tron way. Uh, one lander, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Two lander. I mean, I doubt I can also pass on this one. I mean, if we can get, if you can get um, an Omnath going, 
Maybe, maybe, just maybe. I think those videos are a little better than fun in, the, in this spawn. Finally get to see a level of stream instead of hearing about them on the Discord. <laughs> yeah. How's the answer of Sprawls been? Um, I mean, it is something that I chose. Like, honestly, I never play against Tron. Like, I have not seen a Tron deck in, like, the past two streams that I had. Um, and the, 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 the Sprawls are just, like, a sort of... Um, What's the way to put it? Like, I'm just giving up on my Tron share in order to beat on the real decks in the format, if that makes sense. I could have Mold Drifter there. Maybe, maybe that was better and just hope to find like a force or something. Warm Coil. That's like the best case scenario for us. What magic game am I on? Uh, this is called Magic the Gathering Online. We definitely want another blue source, and it has to be a white source, so this is going to be Hallowed Fountain. So green, red, blue, white. Maybe, I mean, uh, uh, maybe. Okay, so what if we... We force their Karn or Ugin or whatever, then I guess we have to pitch a Mold Drifter, which is not great. Obviously not blocking here. Um, then we untap. If we find a fetch land, we may be cooking. Karn, the Great Creator. So they can find a Torpor Orb, I guess. Yeah. But now I get to actually kill the Karn. I can't draw now, which is sort of annoying. They didn't crack in response, so now they, they can go get Blast Zone, but now they can't. I think I'm actually... I think the play is to bolt the Karn and just not attack. And just block in Ephemerate. Because I want to cash in this Ephemerate anyways, and this way I save myself 6 life and I deny my opponent 6 life. Smatic ending. Golivada717, thank you for the follow. Oh, they already had the Blast Zone. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I should have left white mana up. So I should have tapped. I should have tapped this instead of these. Mm -hmm. We are gonna need more mana, though. I can't just cycle this. Play like here. I'm not with a vigilance. You still have a bolt and ephemerate up. Uh, but then I couldn't have Alpine Moon, right? Free it. I have only five lands. Can only do so much. 
they blew up their own expedition map. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's just like nothing matters. Like literally, <laughs> literally nothing at all. Nothing matters. My opponent is just blowing up their own expedition map for no reason. Just like no fucks given. Everything's fine. We play a good dick like Tron. Remember the pod days, Chief? Always remember that. I was there when you were playing. I was there back in the day when you were playing. You were playing the pod deck. Uh, I don't think we can just recent reef. I, I think we need to spike a little bit more. Um, well, actually, let's think about it for a second. So if we play a recent reef, we can find no because I, I i think i have to omnath because omnath into fetch allows me to also recent reef and then we can draw into into the guy uh the the solitude that we need to kill this so green red white blue fetch Yeah, uh, Tron is unwinnable. <laughs> Tron is unwinnable. See you next round. No, here we go. We're on the draw, but we have a pretty solid hand. I'll keep this. So we have some early interaction, and then we have ways to pull ahead. Yeah, this is fine. And this is what this version of the deck is doing, right? Like you're giving up. Oh, just main phase, main phase cycle. I wonder if they're gonna grief. They're thinking about griefing. Well, good. Damn it. So the reason for saying damn it there is because I was planning on just like bolting their face. So if they grief me, they have to take one of my cards and any of the, my cards that they take is just obviously good for me. I guess we could just pitch Solitude and Exile nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's actually do that. Endurance. Unluckiest. Do we think about it as a no that they can cycle on my tree? <laughs> yeah, they're just like main face cycle go. <laughs> I wonder why. <clears throat> Is it Charlotte's agent time? Looks like it is. Okay, so what how are we doing this? I think I'm just pitching right now, right? Ooh, look at that hold priority there. Getting tricky, opponent. I think we just solitude evoke. Exile nothing. This dies. Everything comes back. That dies. Now the question is, do I ephemerate now? I think so. <clears throat> yeah, because the next turn I can evoke Mold Drifter and that's like, it makes their living ends even worse. Ephemerate here. 
exile the other dude. I'm jealous because opponent's gaining a lot, a lot of life. So now if they leave in end, we at least get <laughs> well this gets some value. Um We could do that. Pichin Omnath, I guess? Or Pichin Lightning Bolt. I guess Pichin Lightning Bolt because it's better against what's his name? He skills Shardless Agent. Now they literally cannot leave it in. If they cast the card leaving in, it's actively bad for them. <laughs> Which is very funny. Sis man, 45 figure will follow. Like now they literally cannot cast leaving in. Like if they cast leaving in, they lose. <laughs> Which is very funny. If they cast living in, I draw two and I kill their best creature. That doesn't have, have hexproof, I guess. Alright. Interesting attack. Does that mean they have an answer to the solitude? Or I guess they can just hard cast a 4-4. Four, four. Uh... Katia. All right, cool. Uh, <clears throat> Blue, red, green, white. This guy. <clears throat> yeah, opponent may have borrower, but like, that's fine, right? They just bounce what my omnev. Do they bounce my solitude? All of those seem like not great deals for them. <clears throat> so they're cycling a bunch. <clears throat> and now if they attack, I'm just going to chump. Because we have a second Omnath, and now they literally just cannot cast the card living in. <laughs> now, they, if, if this if this happens, they just cannot cast the card living in. <laughs> so I guess they're living in in here in response. That's that's not adverse mana opponent. There we go. So now they killed. They killed the, the, the river thingy for me, which is nice. Just pretty nice, very generous of them. I get back Mool Drifter, I draw two, I Fury kill their Curator of Mysteries. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? They didn't cast the Living End? Are they actually out of living ends? Is that what just happened? Maybe they're just out of living ends. They just wanted to plus one, so yeah, but they plus one plus one did nothing, right? They plus one plus one did actual nothing. Like my dude was dying anyway, and this was not gonna die. It's also plus one plus zero. It's not plus one plus one. I think they forgot they mailed one of the living ends to the to the other dude. So this card's heinous. These cards are good. That card's fine. Uh, oh yeah, there's this card too. Do is is your deck just like sick against living end? <laughs> Is our deck just like secretly insane against living in? Is that what's going on?
It sort of feels like that. Now your opponent's hoping you think they have less living ends than they do by forgetting they may have some in hand. Yeah, so they cast they cast one living end and they milled one. So I guess that they just had another one in hand and they forgot that they had milled the other one, so they were just out. I think that's what happened. The fair rip force fluster free shit seems good. Yeah, not only is it free shit, it's free shit that we get to put into the into the bin for free, and then we get it back, making their namesake just bad, <laughs> which is very funny. The evoke mechanic secretly, secretly leaving ends demise. Three fours on the no land cars are great versus living in. Yeah, yeah. Particularly after after sideboard, right, where we cut the the prismatic endings and like we cut all the bad cards. So, have we considered playing living in ourselves with elementals? Yes, just like suspend living in, splash a black black card. I don't think I've ever lost a game against Living in my paper. Opponents get kind of upset about it. But it's a creature deck. We should have a great matchup. Well, well, this hand seems acceptable. Why am I not playing a Dobby's role? Because in the in the majority of the good, the, the top tier decks, in a bunch of those matchups, uh, you end up uh, cutting them. And what what this list is trying to do is it's trying to like be pre-boarded against the the top tier of the meta game. Only time I appreciate seeing I'm nothing the board is when he dunks on living in the yeah, ads pretty sweet. You don't make a huge favor and lose with elementals so fewer people play it this weekend. I'll try. Mono hate card hand, yeah. Can't beat that one, can't beat that one, can't beat that one. Swear you will, you hand in paper has saved some time. Yeah. Um, no, I I think that spreading seas in particular, like the fact that the control decks are just jamming for spreading seas right now, is is also a, a super big hit for, for the Cardi Topis Brawl. Reading pool. Main phase cycle. I mean, my opponent knows what they're about. I respect that. My opponent knows what they are about. They are very, very much about that main fake cycle life. They have two cards left. And they also get to see this hand. Ugh. I would not want to be my opponent right now. <laughs> you just two for one yourself in order to cast the grief and then you see this hand. <laughs> Are they also gonna two for one themselves in order to in order to force? Well that resolved. Single strand is out the word plus monkey, yeah. That would have been strong. That would have been strong. Instead our hand is no land. Yep. That was a late concession. <laughs> that was a late concession. See you next round. Alrighty. Um, yeah, sounds fine. Sounds fine. We got the reef already. Set against the list of rhinos and cycles in the last challenge. I still have no idea what it was. Do you know those lists? No, it was just, I think I saw like a, a random like Twitter post or whatever. What I don't get is opponents who will wait up until the moment I attack for lethal declare lock stink and see rather than just take lethal damage. Yeah, or, or that, or just like, 
I don't know, like I'm attacking and like I'm doing all this stuff and it's just like, why, why are we doing this? <laughs> like, like they know their hand, right? And they know that I'm going through the motions. So like, why don't you just save up us both sometime? But, I don't know. I mean, I guess people can do whatever they want with their time. Is this just Niv? Oh. So that's what this is. Absent reanimator. multiple ways that we can navigate this. I think the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm just going to recent reef and I'm going to sacrifice one of these recent reefs, I guess. Um, so I can hit my land drops. I think hitting my land drops is gonna be very important here. Sweet, okay. So now that I hit my land drop, I think that we're gonna be cooking. Um, we can solitude. In fact, I do I even solitude? I can just solitude next turn. And if I find a fetch line, it's even better. Oh, sure, that's fine. Good old hardcast grief. Uh, but now we can just go get endurance. They take the solitude, we just find another one if we need to. Um. Yeah, so blue, green, one, recent reef. I guess we put that into hand. Find Omnath. I'm gonna say elemental. I'm gonna flamekin. We're gonna stack the triggers in between like this so we know what we're drawing. We know we're drawing an Omnath. I'm getting, just getting endurance here, I think. And drawing it, and then I can find Sacred Foundry, and I can also get a Solitude. The problem if I do this is I'm just gonna I'm gonna end up going to discard. Well, I could just Fury kill the grief. Yeah, let's just Fury kill the Grief, so I can try to... The reason to do this is to try to find an Ephemerate. Prismatic Ending and Solitude. All right, yeah, so now we have everything. We double Recent Reef, this should, this should just be, yeah. All right, reanimator. These are the cards that look good. I mean, my opponent's playing both Grief and uh, Arkan. There's no way that they're playing uh, fucking Torpor Orb, right? So I'm just gonna cut the endings. Just go with this. Ephemerates and Siege Rhinos. Going deep. I don't think I want Fluster. Not loving the Furies in this hand. In fact, I, I'm kind of not loving the Furies in the matchup, period. Maybe I should have Bolts instead of Furies, so I can, like, if my opponent is playing, like, Grief Ephemerate nonsense, we can actually stop them.
Do they have the combo? Dude, grief not being prevent, honestly, is just egregious, right? Imagine not preventing grief, wizards. Come on. Come on, wizards. Why would they not prevent grief? They get the fury? Okay. Maybe I should have played Hello Fountain there, actually. Force of Negation. They leave me with the Endurance, even though I can just find the card to pitch whenever I want to. Ephemerate. Sure. I mean, if we, if we had had Bolt, they get super grossly punished. Okay, I have no hand. This is this is the combo deck that we're playing apparently. <laughs> Clearly my opponent defies the loss of common common sense, so uh... So we're gonna have to draw fucking the fairy, I guess. I mean, it's a three mana two two. It's not the worst, I guess. I mean, I guess I'm saving it. Like, it, it just sucks, but I kind of have to. I have literally nothing going on. How did I tap the mana wrong? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's right. It's like, a, oh, I, I was like, well, they have to kill one of these. All right, I, I, I threw this game, it's fine. Well, actually, so the problem is like, we're, we're not dead. <laughs> like if we just wrong that, we just raise this very easily. We're just getting pinged by one every turn. And half of my opponent's deck doesn't do anything. Is the two mana one one mirror, I guess. Well, there you go. So I think I'm plus in here. And I'm I'm gonna minus next turn. They go face. Interesting. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Mm. 
That's brutal. I really need to find anything there, right? Like, I just need to find literally anything at all. I really just needed to find literally anything. <sighs> we can still draw up Neff, and we're gonna have two draws if my opponent doesn't attack my Teferi. They should definitely send one at Teferi and one at me. Don't play so many lands. Nothing like some... Nothing makes me happier than to hear some very, very beautifully... Um, so what? what's the name? Like the bias... I don't know, whatever. Um, I think I'm just going to cut the forces. Confirmation bias. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the word is. Um, this seems fine. But yeah, it, it probably is confirmation bias, which is what I'm saying. But I still think the resting pieces are fine. Nah, I don't think loss of income is good. Oh, Fury's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure I probably cut some Furies. Whoops. Dude, my opponent's playing Grief and Hushbringer in the same deck. It just blows my mind. They're playing four copies of Ephemerate in their deck. So my plan here is to... is to end of turn Solitude, pitching the Ephemerate. Great deck building. Top tier deck building. Top tier deck building. They have so many ETB triggers, dude. They have so many. They have so many ETB triggers in their deck. <laughs> they have so many ETB triggers, dude. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, I mean, that is just what happens and why this deck is just bad, right? It's just... Your and Mark Graves are just... like Their deck is just... Their deck just makes no sense, right? Their deck just kind of doesn't really make too much sense because it's just, it's just fighting itself on so many axes. And, like, you have this ephemerate grief thing going on, so you are trying to create a situation where both people are top decking, but then your top decks are on Mark Graves, which don't do anything, and, like, Persist, which don't do anything if you haven't already drawn an Mark Graves. So, like, just by design, the whole concept is just so dysfunctional. 
but I mean, I I imagine it's fun, and that's why people like playing it. Because I mean, I play it against again this this style, uh, this kind of uh, deck uh, fairly often. But yeah, I think it for this round. See you next one. All right, last round of this league. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. We have some early interaction with with Solitude, and then we have ways to to bring it back. I'm gonna lead on Temple Garden because we can draw Prismatic Ending. I guess we can draw bold, but we have more endings than. Oof. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Say that this hand has been developing nicely. Is Mold Drifter really worth a Cyber Slot? Nothing more impactful available? I mean, do you not think that Mold Drifter is impactful? Like, Mold Drifter is nuts. Like, Mold Drifter is extremely impactful. Oh, I should have played the... Why didn't I play the Harbinger there? Big whoopsies, I guess. Mistakes were made. Yeah, I just... I literally just... I don't know. I, I have no explanation. <laughs> I have no explanation for what just happened. I imagine my opponent's going to counter this. Okay, so that means my Omnia should be good to go. Next turn. Castle Ventress. Do I want to play Omnath here? Or do I rather have Teferi? I think I'd rather have Teferi, so I'm going to play Omnath right now. Green, blue, red, white. Solitude. Solitude, the dude. So now if we find the fetch line, we get to resolve baby Tef. Ugh, never lucky. Never lucky. Also, they don't have a companion. I wonder why.
Yeah, I want them to counter something. Maybe they have Snapcaster? They're just Snap Resolved. Snap Resolved. Okay. I don't want to evoke Drifter because the 2 2 matters, right? It just lines up well against uh, Solitude. So, because the 2 2 matters, I just don't want to just throw it away. Like, this can be a, tr a 3 for 1 instead of just a 2 for 1. And if they activate Colonnade to kill, try to kill Teferi, then I can just Solitude it. But if you did, you could have found a frame. Like, yeah, I could have. But what if I don't, right? I'm gonna see if my opponent makes their attacks. They kill the colonnades. And now the question is do I chump or not? I'm not going to overextend into a verdict here. It's tempting though. It's very tempting. Uh, in fact, I should have probably minus there on the Drifter. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have minus the Mold Drifter. I fucked it up. I should have minus the Mold Drifter. Because I'm going to ball this Solitude. Yeah, that was the play. That was the play. I, I should have not plus here. I kind of did that without thinking. We can't really autopilot in the, in the control matchup. Can't afford to autopilot in the control matchup. If they have Wrath here. Yeah, they have Wrath. <sniffs> Fucked it up. Damn it. Such a stupid move. I should be so far ahead right now. Should be so far ahead. And um, I'm not. Like, I'm probably still okay far ahead, but I should be a lot, a lot further ahead. Ugh. Yeah. Ah, damn it. This is just a 3 3 double strike. That's whatever. Pony has only two cards left in hand. Solitude.
I still think we're we're a little bit ahead, but we should we should be a we should be a, a, a lot a lot further ahead. Deluge. So we can we can six them. Or we can nine them. I think I want to six them. And then next turn, I play endurance on the end step. If they don't do anything. Oops, I forgot to plus. I thought I had plus already. I thought that was the first thing that I did in the turn. Weird. Anyway, I mean, they have to kill this thing. Uh... Ugh. When you said I'm a fish, I mean, he's probably right. It's a lot of lands, unfortunately. Uh, green. Green one endurance myself. Oh, they have deluge in the sideboard. I should I should have not deal. I should have not done that on myself. I should have done it on them. And I'm playing loosey goosey today. Playing loosey goosey. All right. Uh... Discuss this thing and lose the verdict, I guess. Thank you for the for the follow there. It's not great. The cat has been has been struggling lately. My cat has been, has been struggling, and it's been it's been rough. Yeah, just brought him to the vet, and apparently they don't they don't see him very well. So we're gonna have to. It's too bad because I was I was trying to do like a little bit of a longer stream today, but it may not be possible. At least we're ahead on clock, so there's that. Gonna flashback deluge. Yeah, and I'm I'm not I didn't I didn't used to be a, a cat person before before this got. Wow, chalice on three. Good top deck. But he changed me. 
He made me understand. All right, I'm putting come on. Just stop having removal. Just stop having good cards. Just have a hand of full of counter spells and stuff like that. Just have a hand filled with cards I can beat. Okay? Is he old? Yeah, he's pretty old. He's pretty old. He's been around the block. It's interesting that they decided to kill the the endurance as opposed to killing my Teferi. Carly is a compromise where wife wants a cat and husband does not have a say in the matter, but he grows on you. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly what happened. So now, like, their Archmage's charms don't do anything. Like, this is actually stopping a bunch of their cards as well. They have the Verdict, though. And they have Castle Vantra, so I kind of have to draw, like, a Nomnath or something that I can start pressuring with. Ugh. Omniath. Down to one card with the exception that my opponent has Deluge and double Castle Ventress. Yeah, I lost this game when I didn't bounce my Amul Drifter. I lost this game when I didn't bounce my, my Amul Drifter. That was a pretty big punt. <laughs> Game kind of snowballed from there. Because if I had played, if I had balanced the Mold Drifter there, like we, we have two more cards in hand, we have a 2 2. My opponent can't really, uh, they, they can't really do the, they can't really verdict, like they, they kind of have to, but they can't really afford to, so. <sighs> yeah, and this is just, this is just justice, you know. I'm gonna gain my clock equity, and then, and then I will pack it up. But like we 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 just can't win this game anymore. I am out of focus. I am out of focus today. If this had shown up when my opponent uh, like was tapped out or whatever, I think that we could have we could have done something. But so these are the cards we want. These we don't want. Something like this. I guess they're playing Chalice, so maybe Prismatic Ending is fine. No, this is fine. But yeah, I should have played better. I think we had a very, very good shot at winning that game. All right, game two. Hands pretty fantastic. It only gets better. Cover the soul is such a fucked up card, man. You mean affinity? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I 
I think I want to play a second reason reef here. That's very nice. Who do I think is favorite here? I think it may be, a, it, it depends on the list, but I think overall it's probably Elementals, particularly if you're running four caverns. They're forced to Wrath here, which makes sense. Gonna get a Stomping Ground. It's a good draw. That is a good draw. Very good draw. I think I might as well just deal them four here. Just hard cast force. It's very happy on this deck as I am big recent Rift fan, but for Gorm it's just too strong and like gotta play it though it is super good. Uh I mean I think that you should give it a shot. Like that's just a bad reason to not play a deck. Just like, oh, this this card is too good. Like the deck is extremely fun. The deck is so much fun. I think that you should not discard it because it's quote unquote too easy or like it's easy mode or like whatever you want to call it. Seems like a very poor reason to to play or not play a deck. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Next turn, I'm going to make the play that I should have done last time. And this is the Cyborg Mold Drifter, by the way, because of the frame, so we know it's good, you know? So now I'm gonna do the play that I should have done last time, which is cast Mold Drifter, draw two, bounce it. Draw another one. Two, three, four, five. It's a blocker. So one, two, three, four, five. Cast drifter. Bounds. Play this. Oh, they don't have double blue, so I think I'm just going to play this Flamekin and I'm gonna get Recent Reef. To get the, the whole thing started again. And we can make a 3-4 on my opponent's end step. Play for Column of Theology Historic and Standard, not the same I know, and the Evo Column Industry definitely entice me as well, just a personal thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure, but I... I think that you should give it a give it a shot anyway. Like if you don't like it, you don't like it, obviously, but I think the deck is extremely fun. We're not representing four, so my opponent knows that you know whatever whatever they want to do is gonna result probably. But we do have lethal on board. <clears throat> I 
Memory Deluge. Deluge. So they're going to have to find Solitude plus White card here. Use the level game for what seemed like minor reasons. Yeah, I mean, we lost the previous game because I didn't bounce my own Mold Drifter. Like, this game is, is very hard to play, actually. Gain control of target. Okay. So they wanted. I mean, they can't block. That would they would have been able to go down to one, but. Um, yeah, I think it's it's actually better for me to just do this here. Dude, Endurance is just so good. Endurance is just so, so good. I love that card. Absolutely love that card. Another ending. They have chalices. But maybe they cut the chalices. I think three endings is fine. If we could ending for five, then I maybe I would consider it to get rid of uh, Hero of Dominaria, but... What do I call the Pack of Endurances? I don't know. I'm waiting for the punchline. Mold to six. A head on clock, which is nice. Ooh, we love to see that. That means that they're probably missing land drops. You definitely love to see that, because that's a, a spreading seed that is not going onto my... Sucks to pitch the fluster there, but like the mold drifter is just so much better. We immediately draw the answer to the Teferi. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> immediately draw the answer to the Tef. Times two. Brutal. All right, that's fine. Green, white, blue. Zwing. Super nothing, thank you for the follow. Matic ending. Okay. Down to two cards. One of them could definitely be counterspell. Not much for us to do. It is counterspell. Damn it. All right, last card in hand. I don't think I'm supposed to hold. I think I'm supposed to jam because otherwise my opponent gets to like draw two with Archmage's Charm and things like things kind of spiral out of control from there. So forcing them to to use the counter spell, I think it's the better line here. That's a good draw. Tuya. 
Just gonna play another Mold Drifter. So sick. Just such a sick card. So next turn we get to play an encounter with Omnath with Fetch. We can also just keep beating down with Double Drifter. Alright, never mind. I think I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna put one um, Omnath out there. Well, I can do both, right? Oh, there we go. So worst case scenario is my opponent Wraths next turn, right? That is the worst case scenario. If that's the case, would I rather the Fury die or would I rather like a Hero die? I think I'd rather the Fury die. No, actually, I'd rather the Kahira die, never mind. Okay. It's good. It's a strong play. So that allows them to draw one more card. But the next turn, we just hard cast the Fury. Why wouldn't they do that with the draw trigger on this deck? Is the interesting question. Draw two. So we're just gonna wait till next turn. So they're gonna get to castle here. And now they're gonna get to probably find the verdict. Two cards on the bottom. So maybe they don't have it. Do they just not have it? They just don't have it. All right, sweet, got there, awesome. Um. I think I like this list. I actually think that the theory behind it makes sense and it plays out nicely in practice. Uh, and very often we did, um, we did actually just not do anything for the first couple of turns. Uh, Jack Gonzalez, I think it would follow. But again, it's just, it never really mattered, right? Like the, the fact that you're not really casting spells on the early game is just, it doesn't matter because what you're doing afterwards it just makes it so you just catch up by so much, like, and you end up so far ahead after doing the thing. 
uh, our losses were like we definitely should have beaten the 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 black red deck. Like that was definitely on me. I I punted that that game pretty badly. I think that we would have won if I had if I had played that game a little bit more tight. Um, and the other losses uh, were to Tron, which is played against Tron twice, didn't get a game, which is uh, what what do you expect? Like again, like this deck list has given up on the Tron matchup. If you want to beat Tron. Uh, play a different deck first of all, and if you if you want to be drawn with this deck, you need to be playing at least like three or four Nightbind Moons maybe, and you, you want to be playing um, stuff like the Utopia Sprawls in order to get ahead, and or Monkey. Those are those are the two options. I try the Monkey, and against Tron is when it shines the brightest. So, for what cards did I change Utopia Sprawl for Mool Drifter, Fourth Prismatic Ending, Endurance, and uh, the Harbingers. I guess that one of these cards is in the stock list, whatever. But yeah, uh, those are the cards. But uh, yeah, this card is very strong. Uh, this deck is very strong. This deck is very, very strong. I like it a lot. And it's probably what will continue to be my my competitive deck, uh, quote unquote. Um, the only cards I'm not sure is like Blossoming Calm. It's kind of eh. Fluster is also, I'm not super sold on. But the rest I like a lot. Maybe maybe I'm overdoing it with the endurances and I should just like play my copy in the main deck and, and just cut the copy in the sideboard and play something else instead. But but yeah. That's gonna be it for me. Thank uh, for me today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.